Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to talk about my T-Mobile home internet gateway and installing external antennas to it. So here's one of the panel antennas. This is some little mast antennas. These are um, they're separate so we combine them together for a 2x2 uh, two two MIMO. And then we have this other little cheap guy, you know, it's labeled 4G LTE. Uh, which just obviously uses 4G and 5G uh, signals. Here's another one. This is a um, Netgear uh, antenna and it's designed for hotspots. And then um, I also messed with the own internal antennas where I rearranged them on the device. And then lastly, there's the good old aluminum foil box trick. Um, so I go through and I have a Excel that I put together of data of these different antennas. So I'm going to go through each one, which ones work, which ones don't work, um, which ones might work in certain situations better than, than the others. So um, I'm going to do that for you um, now. And what I'll say is obviously they're not hooked up right now. And there's a reason for that. But I went through a separate video and I talked about installing the little... Um, pigtails that go onto the board of that gateway and that allows you to hook up these antennas. There is no uh, external port. Uh, so you do have to take it apart. It's not that hard really, uh, but watch the other video for details of that. Now I'm talking about how do you pick an antenna. And the only antenna that is common that I probably did not uh, or that I for sure don't have is the log uh, periodic directional antenna, so um, sometimes they're called the Yagi uh, antenna, and those are really good for um, if you have direct line of sight to your tower. So if you don't have trees or buildings that obscure, you can actually visually see um, the tower that you want to connect to, be it either from ground level or up high, those have the highest gain. So those are the best at um, boosting your your signal. If you don't have direct line of sight, kind of the go-to are these kind of larger panel antennas. And these gateways are a 4x4 MIMO, which means they have four antennas um, that work in conjunction. All of these I'm showing are 2x2. Two two. So, you know, this has two cables here, so obviously that's, um, this has two um, antennas that kind of work in, in conjunction with each other. That helps get you better signal quality. And that's uh, an another question people ask is about a booster. So cell phone boosters are not really what you want. Um, they don't increase the quality of the, of the signal. They only increase the signal strength. And if you've messed with this and you play with the um, cell tower metrics, the signal to noise ratio is probably one of the more important factors that you need um, to get higher of a number in order to get higher speed. So that's where um, these antennas really help and the MIMO comes in and helps to block out interference from other signals. And so it's not always just gain. So the booster only um, increases the, the strength, but if it's already a noisy or has interference, then it really doesn't do you a lot of good. So um, focus, spend your money on an antenna, not a, not a booster. So for these, I wanted to look at some of these cheaper options. So like, I think this pair here was like 14 or 15 bucks. So really cheap. Um, this little guy's a window unit stick on the inside and where I am here in my office, I have a bay window right here and the tower is actually, um, looking out that bay window. So I was hoping what I could do was find something that would give me a better signal um, without having to run wiring outside and drill the holes to the wall. If you look at the, the cabling device, especially if you do like a LMR, uh, uh, you know, type uh, coax cable, those are thick and uh, they're not that easy to, to route. So my main focus was I get really good signal actually right here on top of the head uh, printer. And it worked pretty well for me, so I'm not, I wasn't that motivated to actually run cabling outside, but I wanted to see what, what would happen. So the first step was I took each of these devices, I left the gateway right there, but I installed the pigtails. Sorry, I turned on the printer. Um, and then I, um, 
I put these devices right here, this window, I set them in this, you know, like the panel antenna I set in the chair, uh, these little suction cup ones I stuck on the window, just to see, could I gain anything by simply having them right there? And the long story short is, um, not really. You know, I got a little bit of an improvement. Um, you know, the panel antenna probably shows the best. It's the most expensive one. Uh, the second best was when I, um, or actually the, the best was when I actually hooked up both this Netgear one and the panel one. Um, so it's a four by four Mimo, but with these, you know, aftermarket antennas, I'm not using the stock antennas at all. Um, that gave me the best improvement, but it really wasn't um, that big. And I'm not, I, I don't list all my speeds on there because the speeds really vary. Um, and I think the main thing to, for you guys to focus on is the signal quality. So looking at the signal to noise ratio, RSRP and then the RS, um, RQ, um, and that RSRQ is kind of a like, combined signal quality metric. It's using both the RSRP and the signal to noise, um, to calculate that. So again, these don't really help that much if they're in the same spot. And so then I went outside and the first thing I did was I took my gateway and I put it outside and then I, um, plugged up the external antennas to each one. And probably the biggest thing I saw actually, if I just, I mean, I, I was right outside this window, so really not that different in location, was my ping got better. Um, you know, the cell metric maps didn't really get that different. Uh, I was a little surprised to see the ping change um, if like signal to noise didn't change a lot, but um, that was kind of interesting. I'm not sure if that was, um, um, you know, actual or it was kind of luck that the ping was lower at that point but it was about um 15 milliseconds quicker so i mean it was noticeable i was going from like the mid 40s down to the um upper um our um, high 20s so that was notable and then i went upstairs i went to like the attic area and the other thing that you can really use antennas for is placing them in a place where you strategically want to connect to a specific tower. For me, I have a, uh, actually two towers. I have a T-Mobile tower and an old Sprint tower. They're both kind of this direction. They're both about a mile away. And those are the ones I normally connect to. In fact, I connect to the T-Mobile one, typically. But when I went upstairs, it was actually the first time I was able, I was using this panel antenna, that I could point this at the Sprint Tower and pick up N41. And N41 should be a, a really good 5G band, um, but it actually didn't give me any faster speed. So I, I'm not sure why, uh, but I was able to essentially tune in to that specific tower. And, and they're not that far apart, um, you know, from a degree standpoint. And so down here, I wasn't able to ever get it to connect to that one. So that's one key benefit that you can get from um, an antenna is that you can go place it someplace that you can't place your gateway. Um, so that is that is a big improvement. But in general, from what I saw, if you can place the gateway where it gets a good signal, it's probably not worth the hassle of actually buying an external antenna. The other interesting thing, as I saw that and I was trying to prove it out, was I actually took apart the gateway and then I popped two of the four um, cellular antennas off and then I placed them, I, I taped them to a piece of cardboard that I put and I placed them in kind of a V shape so that all four of the antennas were kind of directed or pointed at um, the tower instead of being this omnidirectional, you know, uh, circle. And that actually gave me the best upload speed. It, you know, at least when I did it and I, I didn't play with it a whole lot. I, I put it here. I put the, I put them in a V shape and I put them, um, straight up and down, but, but facing the tower and it actually gave me the best upload speed. It, it increased my, um, my 4G signal which which this uses for upload if you're on a non-standalone uh, 5g which is like n71 or n41 so um that was interesting and i thought that's something that people should try if they're really interested you don't want to spend money on something 
play with those antenna, um, the stock ones, and their orientation and configuration. You might actually find um, you can improve it um, without buying anything at all. So the, the next thing is this aluminum foil. I'll talk about that. Some people claim, you know, that they have aluminum foil and they put it around there and, you know, it's kind of acting like a satellite dish. You know, they have, you know, obviously there's a, uh, a concave shaped satellite dish that helps focus signal. And there's people that have put satellite dishes behind their unit to help focus it in. And it, there is probably a little bit of merit to it. it it's probably a little bit of um, uh, hope and luck as well built into it. But... I haven't had this issue other than once, and it was actually when I was um, playing with these antennae, is my gateway got stuck to B12 band, which is, um, for some people they actually have good speed, but every time mine's connected to B12, it is utter junk. Um, and I get like literally no speed or um, like, you know, tenths of megabits per second. So that happened and I took this um, aluminum foil, and I have it on a box, um, just so it was less floppy, but some people actually just take the aluminum foil. But I just placed it over the, um, the gateway, and within about five seconds, it switched um, back off of B12 and onto my B2. Sometimes I'm on B66 for the, for the primary, but um, it switched right away. And there's some theories on why it does that. Um, you know, some people are thinking the aluminum foil is acting a little bit like a high pass filter. And if you look at the B12 band, it's like a 700 megahertz band. And so perhaps it is kind of blocking out um, that um, lower frequency and then it's allowing it to switch to one of the mid uh, band um, frequencies. So I'm not sure. Um, if that's the technical reason why, but I will say it did work. I know other people online have, have commented that their gateway would uh, get stuck connecting to uh, B12 or some other unwanted um, band, and then that's their go-to fix. That appears to work, which I think is kind of neat. But um, it doesn't help signal quality. You know, actually, one of the reasons why I had a box is I, I poked holes in this so I could put my Ethernet and my power through it. And I put it up there in that exact same location, and it didn't help anything. It it didn't really hurt that much either. I mean, it, it still worked and, and whatnot, but um, I didn't see any notable improvements there. So, um, you know, obviously from the, the chart, you can see uh, the speeds. These little mass antennas uh, did not work. It, it was kind of interesting because... Clearly they were creating some interference or noise or some kind of issues with the gateway. It would show a signal and um, they were actually like a reasonable signal quality, but it would like uh, crap out and it would drop the bands and it would um, not restart, but it would kind of like freeze um, where it wouldn't have any inter internet connection, but I never really got internet to work, even if I had these plugged up as a two by two. So that was really surprising. Um, because even if you have no antenna on the two by two and then you have just two of the stock internals, it still works. Um, so I, I'm not sure, but these are, these are going back. Um, this 4G one, it works. Um, and it's really not that much worse than, um, the, the internal ones, but it's also not that much better. So the big advantage to it is that you can place it somewhere. So if you want to put your router down in a cupboard or, you know, kind of hidden away. Um, but you have the ability to get this out to a window or something. Um, that is one option that you might like. And that was only 20 bucks. So, uh, that's kind of, uh, interesting option. This guy was a little bit more expensive. I think it was like $54, $55. The problem with it is that it has TS nine connectors on it. And that's kind of the standard connector on the hotspot. So this is really designed for like, you know, stick on your laptop or stick on a window when you're uh, traveling on the road. Uh, but I bought, I dropped them down here, but I bought these little uh, cables that are um, convert TS9 to SMA. That's at least what I used um, for my adapter cables to go to the team. So this one works and um, it's probably the best of these cheap inside options that I found. Um, so 
I kind of recommend it. You know, it's one of those things where really you're better off taking your gateway and, and locating it um, exactly and rotating it and playing with that or playing with those internal antennae uh, arrangements. But then the panel one, it does work, right? Um, it, it did provide the best. The best performance was the panel and the net gear together, but just the panel by itself was also an improvement over the stock internals. And I didn't buy two of them, but you could buy two of them. And then, you know, that was probably going to further help you as well. Um, but what I'll say is, to me, it really wasn't worth the cost by itself. So I think it's really going to vary based off your exact position. And, you know, if you're trying to get, if you're setting up something in the basement, like you get no signal, you really want to get it um, somewhere else, or you have some kind of interference on one side of the house. The antennas, the best thing to me is that they just allow the signal to get captured from a different location. And then if you do that, you might as well buy some reasonable ones like this panel one. Or like I said before, if you need the um, um, live periodic directional antennas, um, those are also a really good option for direct line of sight. So me personally, I'm returning all of these and I'm not going to use them because they really didn't do anything dramatic. If I was able to put one of these out here and uh, even if I had to, you know, run a, a hole through the wall, if it made a drastic change, I would do it, but it doesn't. And um, I'm going to stick with this stock internal setup and I'm waiting for T-Mobile to keep on um, updating their, their network. You know, I see uh, people posting online that, hey, I see, you know, some guys working on my tower and they're putting up new MIMO antenna, antennas and it's these 5G and then lo and behold they have hundreds of uh, megabits per second download. The best I've seen, and in fact I, I saw it this morning, it was like 140 megabits per second down, but I'm typically more around 75 um, megabits per second download, uh, give or take. So that's plenty for what I need and um, it's really just going to vary based off uh, what what you want and what you need. But the other thing to know, if you do get serious about doing this and you're running any long length of cable, that cabling does matter. So you want to try to get some low loss cabling, not just uh, the standard super cheap um, you know, RG6 or um, coax cable. Um, you want to step it up to LMR or um, you know, one of the other high quality antennas. A good place to go to is Waveform. Um, they have good customer service. You know, I haven't, um, I haven't used them directly, but lots of good um, information. And they also had a write up about how to do this antenna install. So um, they're a good place to go to. Um, I also put links to these devices that I bought and used in the description below so that you can click on them and go to them and, and see more details. Um, for yourself as well but if you have any other questions for me feel free to write them in the comments and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability and then uh, also subscribe and um, and hit the bell um, icon for uh, being notified by YouTube for my future videos that way you guys can um, keep watching and, um, and keep learning with me thanks